Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Well, tonight we got something special going on. We're gonna go ahead and do a comparison test. Not necessarily a comparison test of each individual truck, but we're gonna do a tire shootout. So I got a few tires that I bought for these trucks. Um, just try them out and see how they function. It is uh, fall here and it's almost winter here in Oregon, so uh, pretty much looking for the best wheels to use in all conditions. During the winter, you know, mud, snow, mm -hmm. ice, water, sand, whatever is out there, and just trying to see which tires will perform better in all of these different types of environment situations. So, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna test them all out. So, basically, today we have some tires I'm gonna talk about real quick, and then I'm gonna show you what, what they are. and um, well, once this is um, once we're done showing you everything, we're gonna go out and drive these trucks around and do a comparison test. Anyway, so I got three three different individual tires. The first one here, um, which I've had for a while, which I like very much, it's been pretty good to me in most situations as of late. Are these RC four wheel drive uh, mud cleaners? Yeah, mud cleaners. And um, they're very good tires, they're very good in the mud, and they've got pretty long water and, and a lot of rocks, so um, we went ahead and put these on the Chevy here, and these are 64 millimeters tall, and these are narrow tires and not very thick, so in my, in my opinion, personally, I prefer narrower tires for mud, because they seem to cut better through the mud, but they also work in other situations as well. I think if it, I, by the by the way I, by the by the threading I see here I think it might do a pretty good job of snow too. Anyway, that's one set. Now our second set. Oh, by the way, these are from RC Four Wheel Drive Mud Cleaners. Our second set here is the Endura Crawler Tires. These are the S Three, I believe, or S Five compound. The real soft, sticky compound. These are the. Um, the rock terrains, they're pretty much look exactly like the uh, Proline Hyraxis, but they're uh, in Gera. But they're very, very sticky and very, very soft and get grip really, really well in a lot of situations and conditions I've ran them through. So we're going to run them here on the LC80 here. And uh, these are also 64 millimeters tall. And they're going to be rolling on a trio. One inch wheels. Now the third set here is the biggest set. These are the uh, 68 millimeter tall and wide uh, DJ crawlers. These are the uh, yeah 68 millimeter. It's called this DJ crawler basically. They're very big. You can see they look like giant donuts. And they're very thick. They're also super soft and very, very grippy. So I drew these on the stock uh, TRX4M rims or wheels. And they, and they held up really well. You can see there's no slipping or anything going on. Any of these. They work really well. Now, the whole idea here is just comparing the tires, see which one performs better in different situations. And at the end, I'll decide which uh, tire will be best for the winter and fall and probably early spring. And we're kind of just looking for the right all-around cool weather, wet weather tire. So we're going to test them out and uh, we'll find out which one turns out better. I'm going to give points to each individual tire. And uh, on performance, how they handle, how well they grip on different situations. At the end, we'll pick a winner. But it's up to you guys to to decide which ones you want to buy. It's just my opinion, and what I think would be great. I mean, in my in my uh, situation, but my tire might not be necessary for your situation. Your, yours might be a little different. You might live in a hotter environment, like in the desert, where you really don't need like really like um, hardcore like you know tires like these big DJ crawlers. I mean, 
I, I kind of I like them. I never tried them, but um, they look really cool. They're really huge, so I want to see how well they do out there. So this will be a first test for these. A first test for these. I've already used the um, the uh, mug fingers a bunch of times. I know they, they work. They do a really good job in pretty much most conditions I've taken them through. So that's all I want to say. Um, so it's pretty much Ford versus Chevy versus Toyota once again. But we're not comparing the trucks, mainly all about the tires, so we're going to go out there and have some fun and see how things work out. And uh, I'll let you guys know which tire is the best at the end. Alright guys, well you guys have a good day, or night, or night here. And uh, tomorrow morning, which will be in a few hours, we'll be out checking out these tires. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Hey everybody, good morning. Well, another day, another buck. So uh, last night I was talking about the uh, comparison test, so uh, I told you we'd be out here early in the morning uh, comparing these trucks, and uh, here we are. So we got our Land Cruiser, our Chevy Cheyenne, and our F-150 Ranger over here. We're going to start uh, running them in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna, there's a, there's a um, rock garden directly right in front of me here. We're going to run them all through there. The rocks are wet right now because it's been raining a lot, so uh, they're going to be a little slick. So it also, it's also a good thing because, you know, at least we'll see how they perform in wet, slick rocks as well. So we're going to go ahead and start from here, then we'll go around this way. Get a little turn here. Also this water here. We'll go up that rock and we're going to make our way all the way down to the end and over where that big rock is over there by that sign on the left, on the right I mean. And then we're gonna go down. So I'm gonna run one by one because I can't um, run them all at the same time. So we're gonna start with um, the Chevy. So I've had a little longer, it's got a few more things on to it. Then we're gonna go with the Land Cruiser and finally we're gonna go with the Ford with those tires, okay? So the Ford, it's running the DJ crawlers. Um, the Chevy's running the uh, RC four wheel drive mug slingers, and we've got the Endura rock terrains on the L on the Land Cruiser. So uh, we'll see how each individual tire performs in this in these rocks here in this water. All right then, let's uh, give it a shot. Okay, guys, we're gonna start with the Chevy. And then we'll go with the Land Cruiser and then we'll continue and we'll finish with the Ford, okay? Here we go. Here comes our first obstacle. We're going to go up a little tiny um, concrete hill here. So far, so good. Now right, we're going to go make a right down to these rocks and then make a left. Just an FYI, these two TRXs are running um, trail gears. Main reason is because I do a lot of training videos and uh, it's kind of hard to change gears every time to crawl and to not crawl. So I decided to leave it as they are. The way I already have them set, it will go from there. It also helps, you know, see how well these tires perform with uh, a little more stress on them. So far, it's doing good. The rock's a little slippery. Yeah, as you can see, so there's not a lot of bite in most of these, but it seems to be going through pretty fine.
You can see it seems to be doing pretty good on the slick rock. But it's also a little jumpy because of the tail gear, so it's a little, a little, a little more complicated to control sometimes, but you know. The way we got things set up here. Alright, we're gonna go across here and then up the hill. See how we do. Try and go back down the hill and go around this side to uh, go over the other side over there. So far, on the side here was okay. You even with all the scale stuff on it, it's, still not, it's not doing too bad. It does tip over here and there, but it's not much. Down the hill we go, slowly. Alright, we're gonna go down these rocks till the end of the flat area over there, then we'll stop and continue with the uh, LCD. Well, you see, the chain made gown just fine. Alright, we're gonna park our gown there. We're gonna go grab the Ford. Or the LC80, I mean. Okay. The LC80 with the Ingera rock terrain tires. The thing about the LC80 here is it has a two-speed transmission, so right now we're running it on low speed. And with the low speed, it has a very nice slow cross, so we're going to run it like this all the way down to the end. Definitely noticeable difference between the Toyota and the uh, TRX4M. Yeah, you can tell right away the quality performance. It's a lot better on this one. Here we go up the side here and down the hill. 
That was a great side hill. Okay, we're down. You can see here, these, uh, these very tires are doing a really good job on these rocks here. They're, not, they're probably even tripping compared to the RC four-wheel drive Mustang. The RC radio, of course, is great color. You have your problems with that. Right. And we made it down the hill. I can can see. The uh, LC ain't gonna struggle much doing all those rocks and coming out of here, even on the fire hill. It took everything pretty darn easily. Well, we're not talking about truck here, we're talking about tires. The tires, of course, also did a very good job. They held up very long the rocks. Alrighty then. Okay, here comes Ford. I recently upgraded this guy with some brass and some metal gearing, so it's pretty loaded right now. The only thing that goes that's not brass or has brass are the wheels. And tires, I just kind of threw those uh, DJ crawlers onto the original stock tires. But everything else is brass up and metal. And I think it's very really solid. Gained a few ounces, gained a few pounds of weight. Not really, just a few ounces, but it's a lot heavier than it was uh, foam stock. As you can see, these tires are just massively huge. So, you know, definitely uh, a lot of uh, meat on those bones right now. Back over again. Rock was a little too tall for the little guy. All right, here we go. As you can see with the Ford, it's got the same issues with the TRX4 or uh, the. Um, yeah, because because they're, it's also running trail gear, so it won't be as composed as the LC80 was on these rocks. It'll be a little jumpy and jerky. It comes with the uh, gearing ratio. These are really large, tall tires, so it's probably more prone to tip over than the Ford, I mean, than the uh, LC80 or the Chevy. We'll see how it goes. So far, it hasn't like clipped over to the only one. But those big old tires just love to go over everything. Oh, here we go again.
Right here was okay, but like I said, it's top heavy, so it's kind of almost wanted to flip over there. Here we go, up the, up the, here we go again. There we go. Came down. Those metal gears are really helping turn these bigger tires around. As you can see, the uh, stock height without any uh, with any um, adjustments is, is able to clear these bigger tires, at least on the Ford. I've tried these on the Chevy and it definitely wasn't clearing them. They were definitely rubbing. But also, they're just so big that they kind of just go everywhere. You, you, get, you find the right line, it'll just kind of glide right over in the obstacle. I definitely want to recommend these giant tires for a small, for like a Chevy, unless you're gonna lift it more. And if you lift the truck more, it's only gonna flip more. So, just saying. You definitely look well on this floor. It's pretty darn good, in my opinion. And, you, and, it, and it just handles pretty darn well. Being how big as they are and bulky. Oh, let's see. Hopefully, you won't tip over here. Oh, Ooh. oh, good. Made it. Oh, boy's well, doing a pretty good job. Struggling a little bit because also the tires are really large and the truck is real jumpy, so it's kind of hard to modulate. But so far, so good, man. These uh, these eight crawlers uh, do a pretty darn good job. Alright, yeah, there we go, they made it all down to the end of the line. Well, so far so good, they all get pretty good. I think the RC4 wheel drive struggled a bit more on these rocks. They're mainly for mud, and these rocks are wet and slippery, so they're slipping a lot more. The Enduras, um, they get pretty darn good, they held up on these rocks pretty darn well. Hardly any slipping. Also, the LC80 has got great across so that kind of helps too now as the ford goes with the trail gears and the big tires um yeah you did a really good job those uh dj crawlers like to go over just about anything if you find the right line of course it did tip over a couple times but you know so far so good now uh we're done here on the rock so we're gonna go and see if we can find uh something a little more wet like mud or water Alright guys, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey everybody, well, we, we're on a location now. We're uh, over here in a local lake. Uh, it's called Hag Lake here in Oregon. I filmed other videos here before. They're, they're, it's a really nice area. A lot of, lot of uh, terrain to cover around here. So um, we came down here to this spot because it's really muddy down here. Lots of mud and water. So we're going to run the truck through some mud and through some water. You see the trucks are over here. They're a little muddy already because I drove them down the hill because there was too many cars carry. So I, my wife helped me um, drive them down. And uh, they're gonna just go ahead and start from here. We're gonna run through all this mud and water and up, all over the place, all the way down to all these water puddles and mud puddles, all the way down till we get to that one stump that's laying on the floor over there. We're gonna do as we did earlier. We're gonna start with one. Then the other and the other, and as per usual, as earlier we're going to go ahead and start with the Chevy first. Then we're going to go with the LC80, and finally the Ford. Alright then, let's uh, get this thing started. Alrighty then, we're going to start with the Chevy. Um, as you can see, there's some ice on the floor there, so there's no, it's frozen. So we're going to kind of go over this ice and go around it. We're going to go over here. Just kind of try to run through all this mud, see how it does.
These are mug singers, so they should perform pretty good in the mug. Let's see how they do on this mug. It's wet and mucky and it's a little bit everything. So it'll be interesting to see how they work. Sticky, all right. Oh, Hold on. all right, good job. All right, there we go. So far, so good. Chad is killing it. The mud cleaners are really helping me a lot. Alright, well, it's just about done with the slippery stuff. So I'm going to go back up the hill to the water to the two steps. Alright, that was not bad. Yep, alright. The Chevy make it through. We're gonna go ahead and run the LC80 through the same exact line. Might be a little different, depends on where it ends up. But we're gonna do the same thing. Here we go. We're putting on low a low speed. That's better. So far, so good. Go to this one here. Oh, that's not gonna work. Let's kick him out. Okay, got cram gear. I'm gonna go back this way and go the other way. That's better. There you go. See, the LC8 is going to kill his dog pretty much anywhere you're going. It's pretty awesome. Alright. The uh, rock train seems to do a pretty good job in this really sticky, wet environment. So, I mean, I'm not kidding. Uh, they're doing pretty good. Even though the knob is not very really loud. So, that's pretty good. Alright. I'm going to pop in. I'm going to grab the floor. Okay, time for the Ford. This one's running the uh, big old giant DJ crawler. See how well they perform in the mud. Let's go. I don't know how the battery life is on these bad boys. Um, they're getting pretty low. You know, I, only, I, only, I only had X amount of spare, so we'll see how, they, how it does. There we go. Very sticky right there. There we go.
Oh, we are really stuck on here. I just, I just hit a bad line here. Let's back them up here. Give me a little hand. There we go. There we go. That's better. There we go. Okay. Now you can see the tire slipping under the uh, music clothes there. You see that? That's, 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 that's not good. We'll try to push him out. We'll give him a little booster here. There we go. Ooh boy, we're in trouble. <laughs> I think the wheel came off. Let me uh, fix the tire. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna recommend you guys running these on your stock wheel. Look at the mud. You at least not in the mud. All right, let's continue. I got tire back on. Hopefully, it'll come off again. Oh, I think it's slipping. Here we go. Powerful this one here. There we go. There we go. It's holding up. Yeah, the tire is slipping really bad on the back side there. We're gonna try and power do this with the mess of tire. But so far the Ford's done a really darn good job in the water and the mud. Pretty much any water throwing it. Whoops! Backed up a little too much there. Alright, here we go. Power to here. Yeah. There we go. It made it, man. It made it. Tire slipping, but it made it. Oh, very, very, very uh, sticky and muddy around here where I'm stepping. I'm pretty much sticking into the mud. I think it's pretty light. I don't want to stick as much as I do. Alright. Okay. Wow, that was rough. Alright. Well. As you can see, all the tires did a pretty good job in the mud. The only downside here is the DJ collar is started slipping on the rim. So I probably recommend running those on your stock TRX4 M tight wheels. I probably throw those on some big locks, keep them a little more tighter. But they held up really well. They're also really big tires, so they, they were able to grip pretty darn good. The mud cleaners did a pretty good job, except the uh, Chevy here is uh, losing its battery, so. Uh, might die here pretty soon, and uh, the LC80, well, <laughs> with those uh, Injura rock trains, um, did a really good job, pretty solid, went through. I'm surprised that the um, rock trains held up so well, because the, the threat's so small, you know, the the, um, the grip is so small that it goes to slip all over the place, but in this situation with the uh, sticky mug and all that, it worked pretty good, so, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to give this one to, uh, let's see. I'm going to give it to the mud cleaners because, you know, they did better job. The only problem here is that um, the Chevy ran out of battery. But other than that, the cleaners were pretty much doing a good job. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's a tough call. They're all, they all really did a good job. So, um, I'll, 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 I'll think about it and I'll give you guys my final answer at the end of this video. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to go find some water. To clean these trucks up because it's really muddy out here and uh, the water over there where the water's at it's just too soft and we're going to be sinking left and right so we're going to try to find a more uh a more suitable spot with cleaner water all right guys see you later hey well we're up we're finally made to our final test here or you know comparison um we're going to do some water and rock all the way down to the other side real simple basically we're run here down to the print, creek, down this little waterfall kind of thing. We're going to go all the way over there to the end of those rocks. And we're going to stop. This just mainly to wash the trucks at the same time, see how they perform in the water and, in the, and, and after coming out in wet conditions. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the Chevy as usual and we'll go with the LC80 and then we'll finish with the Ford and we'll call it a day. All right. Hey, here comes the Chevy. And here comes the dive.
There we go. Oh, tipped over. There we go. Yeah, it's a little sketchy up here, guys. We'll make it through. There we go. Just fine. The tire is cramped. It shook a little bit, but it went through. Okay, next up, LC80. All right. Well, there goes the LC80 making its way down to the uh, stream here. Um, I'm voicing over because the video is at the tail end, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just kind of tell you guys my final thoughts on the tires that we, are, that we tested today, and, my, and the final results, of course, now. You see the LC80 here, probably one of the best performers in this whole entire um, video. Um, it did a good job pretty much anywhere I put it, it's like a little goat. Now, the tires it has um, really surprised me because they were grippier than I thought they would be in most conditions. I know they work really well in wet conditions. I have have had these before, and they work well on wet rocks and water, but I never actually ran them through the mud, and um, they did a really good job in the mud. I thought they were going to be slipping everywhere because the thread's so small, it's not like really gnarly. <clears throat> but they did a really good job, surprisingly. Um, and of course, you know, the LC80 having the two speed also kind of gives give, give it an advantage over the TRX4Ms because, uh, you know, we can go to high speed or low speed whenever we, we want to. And, go, you know, for crawling situations, we usually always run this guy in low speed and it just kills it just pretty much anywhere I take it. The TRX 4 m are a little more jumpier because of the trail gearing. Um, a lot of my videos, <coughs> excuse me, that I do um, are overlanding, adventure, or like trailing videos. I'm not like a hardcore rock crawler. So um, I, I keep my rigs set up properly to what is useful for me. In this case, trailing and overlanding. Um, and of course, um, I do tons of upgrades on my trucks. Most of, most of it's just gearing wise and brass on the bottom side. I go, I take out all the plastic parts and just go full metal on all my rigs for, um, for added durability and more, um, and for them to be able to take more stress of all the stuff I do, you know, cause tra even though training seems easy, it's not like the easiest thing in the world. There's a lot of obstacles. We have to go through some weird, strange rocks or dirt or whatever. So it does put a lot of strain on the drive line. So for me, best to do is always um, upgrade the entire drivetrain to uh, metal. Definitely saves me a lot of headaches. 
All right, well, we're done here with LC80. Um, those tires just killed it, man. They did a great job. Um, as the mud fingers go, they didn't do very good. They performed very poorly in the rocks and in the water. They very really slip a lot. And they don't hold up as well as the, um, the Ingera, um, rock trains, or even the Gigi Crawler, which we are looking at right now on the Ford. <clears throat> the Ford. Yeah, great job all around. Those geese crawlers are just awesome, man. They're huge, they're enormous, they're thick. They're very chunky tires, so um, <clears throat> they're very good. I mean, they're good for rock crawling, mudding. They're good for pretty much anything. Even here in the water, they did a great job. But it's one of those tires that I don't recommend everybody. I mean, unless you just want to do a comp setup with some big old tires go over anything, those might work. Or if you want to do a mud truck, that might work too. But if, as for me, you know, I like them because they look really cool. I mean, I can definitely do training videos with them because I'm not going to be rock crawling a lot um, with the these tires. But uh, they just look really good on the sport. On top of that being lifted, they uh, don't get, they don't rub because the fingers on the Ford are much um, wider than the fingers on the Chevy. On the Chevy, these would be rubbing like every five seconds, so... This is the best setup for these tires in this situation. Now, as DJ crawlers go, they're great, man. They're really soft, squishy, they're very, they're very sticky, they, they grip up really well. But like I said, they're, they're not for everybody, they're just for certain people, and you know, want bigger tires, and want your trucks set up for a particular thing, like just rock crawling, or just straight up mudding with them. I mean, they're good for a comp setup. If that's what you guys like, or if you just want to do a mud truck, I think it'll work fine. Anyway, final results here, though. Out of, out of the three tires, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a point to the LC80 tires, the Ingera. They were the best all-around tires. They worked in all the conditions, and they stuck very well in the rocks, in the mud, and in the water. They did a really good job, so I'm going to give that number one. To those number two and a very close one because I really like these uh, tires as well. All the geese the crawlers, they're um big, bulky, and chunky, but they hold up really well and they're very grippy and they do pretty good in all conditions as well. And third place but not least, the uh, mud slingers. Although they killed it in the mud, they just weren't doing it in the slippery rocks of the water. That's all I got to say, fellas. Thanks for coming in and uh, watching this video and uh, spending some time. Yeah, I know it's super long, but I appreciate you guys coming in and checking these uh, comparisons out. I want to wish you guys a great, uh, great, great day, nice rest of the weekend, and I'll see you guys in our next adventure. Much love from Northwest RC Adventures. Goodbye.